Um, I wouldn't necessarily say it's less stress or uh, less stressful. Um, more comfortable, I would say. Uh, everybody was talking about how loud Auburn was going to be, and um, I still think that Louisville was louder. But they probably won't like me saying that, but it's true. Um, do you think maybe it just seemed a little louder because that was also really Probably. Yeah, probably. Um, but, yeah, it's not bad. I like kicking it home. <laughs> Oh, I definitely have more leg strength now. Uh, going through the off off season uh, weight training with Coach Batson, that'll definitely get you a lot stronger. I didn't have that last year coming into it this year. Um, just more comfortable out there. Uh, it's, I'm able to trust my leg, know that I'm going to get it there. So. If I'm not mistaken, I think there was one kick return at Auburn where, where you had to you know, make a tackle, make a play on the return man. Um, do you feel a little bit more comfortable there as the last man of defense and, and the angles you're taking? How much work have you put in on doing that? We've actually put in a lot of work, a specialist. Um, I think it's like a couple times a week we'll go out and do tackling drills with dummies and stuff like that. and. Uh, Really just having a larger understanding for it really helps out. I know it's only two games in, but last year you guys were like 115 kickoff return. Right now you're fifth. <laughs> Is that, I know it's a lofty goal, but it must feel good to be there right now. It feels good to be right there, uh, right now at least, but uh, hopefully we can keep it up. I feel like it's just overall mentality. Yeah. Um, all the guys we have right out there right now are all workhorses, and uh, they're going to bust their butt getting down the field, so uh, we don't have to really worry about that. I know the kickoffs, I mean, it's kind of evolved a little bit to now. There's a lot of like trying to pin opponents in the corners and things like that. But, I mean, especially the last game, I mean, you're kicking out the back of the end zone. And have the coaches been sort of approaching that differently because of your improvements, or what, you know, do you sense anything different from what they're calling this year? They're really just, they're calling the same things, but uh, it's more the kickoff coverage drills that they've been working on. So obviously whenever we go out, go out and practice and do some kickoffs, um, even if I put it out the back in practice, they'll have a guy return it anyway. And uh, it's like they'll have a guy standing there with the ball and then he'll run it out. So we're really just practicing and uh, not necessarily expecting it not to be a touchback, but uh, just really running down the field and having to make the play if possible. So it's just like it's just the mindset. I don't know if anybody asked you about this last year, but being replaced on kickoffs when Ammon came back, did that? Did you feel that in your psyche at all? I mean, what was that? What was that like for you? Not really. I was kind of okay with it, just because you know it's his senior year. Um, I want to see him do really well too, and. Uh, Good friend of mine. It was one less thing I had to worry about, so I was kind of per I was kind of okay with it. <laughs> you did a great job on that uh, high snap uh, at Auburn last week, um, especially you know great job by Seth Ryan getting the ball down, but also keeping your concentration and making the kick. Do y'all practice that uh, that snaps? We don't really practice it, but uh, what I've been doing a lot lately is not necessarily whenever I'm kicking just with the uh, the holder. Um, Sometimes I'll be like, okay, like without a snap. Sometimes I'll be like, okay, give me laces, like just so I can get that in my, in my, uh, like a vision in my head. So like whenever I'm out in the game, if I happen to get laces, I'm not like, oh, oh crap. So it's just like a, a mental thing that you got to prepare for. On the uh, on the extra point at Auburn again, uh, that was told us that uh, that you hadn't missed one in the entire camp. Uh, can you just tell us what happened there? Was it just a, a lapse of concentration? Or um, I'd say it was a lapse of concentration. I was so disappointed in that, you know, just because I've been working on it all off season, and uh, still pissed off about it. But, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'd, I'd probably say a lapse in concentration, just because I was really focusing 
I met with uh, the, the team psychologist for a little bit just to like talk about it and everything. And uh, I was thinking about all the little details and I couldn't do that. And uh, that's what I was thinking about on that one. I just messed up my plant, put it too close. Yeah, yeah, I'm good now. Can you quantify your improvement? In other words, when it comes to your lecture, do you feel like you're getting kickoffs three yards, five yards, eight yards deeper than normal? Or you did a year ago? I'd probably say about five. About five? Yes, sir. And, and I know, uh, you know it's based on leg strength a lot, but how much does adrenaline play a part in Oh, a lot. Yeah. A lot. On uh, Whenever we were kicking off here, um, like the first kickoff of the game, uh, I told myself probably four times running up to ball, all right, slow down, slow down. Because if I pick up too much speed, then I'm going to shank it. Like either I'm going to get under it or it's going to be a line drive. So like I just have to tell myself, slow down. All good, Greg? That's great. Okay. Yep. Thank you, sir. Slow down. Sorry.